We're learning more tonight about how the suspect in the Cleveland, Texas shooting managed to stay on the run for so many days. His wife is now facing charges for helping him, and officials believe he was trying to get other relatives to help him escape to Mexico. Fox 4's Blake Hansen is live tonight with more. Blake. Yeah, Heather, officials haven't shared much about the tip that led them to Ora Peza, but they say he had help from several people as he managed to skirt law enforcement for four days. It was at this home that authorities finally captured accused mass shooter Francisco Ora Peza hiding under laundry in a closet. That arrest happened within an hour of authorities getting an anonymous tip late Tuesday that led them to the home near Conroe, about 20 miles away from Cleveland, Texas. But I just didn't even know it was going to be across the street from me. Wow. Yeah, um, I was really, really scared. Oropesa is accused of killing five people after they asked him to stop shooting his gun Friday night. But he eluded law enforcement ever since. Authorities suspected he had help and Wednesday charged his wife, 53-year-old Divimara Lamar Nava, with helping him. I'm finding probable cause. I'm setting the bail at $250,000. During a court hearing for her, officials revealed that she told them that Oropesa arrived at the home near Conroe in the early morning hours Tuesday, where he had showered and slept, and she got him food. Officials say she also admitted to delivering a message to Oropesa's cousins on his behalf, asking for help getting to Mexico, but they said no. Depending on the way you looked at it, depending on the facts that we developed from the investigation, yeah, she may have hindered in the venue of Montgomery County. She may have hindered in the venue of San Jacinto County. If there were enough, uh, if there's sufficient evidence to prove both, then we can look at both charges. Authorities say several others have been arrested for helping Oropesa, but haven't given a specific number or released all their names. Meanwhile, Oropesa remains behind bars, facing five charges of murder that could be upgraded to capital murder. We believe that some of those facts based upon our investigation will fit into the statutory definition of what a capital murder is. Officials also say Oropesa is on suicide watch. Investigators in the rural area say they are getting some much needed rest after a four day manhunt, but the work on the case is far from over. These are going to be 15 hour days, seven days a week till this thing gets wrapped up. A government official in Honduras says four of the five victims will be repatriated in that country based on the family's wishes.